Welcome along to Bloom Tube, and uh, this is the very first uh, edition, I'm not sure edition, of um, doing a, a non one balloon model. So we're going to show you how to make my favourite flower, which is this one here. Here we go. All right, and it uses two balloons. So that'll make a change from the one balloon models I've been showing. So what you have to do, you get your uh, 260, uh, leave between six and seven fingers uninflated, get hold of the knot, and you've got to do a four finger fold twist. So put your, measure it up to your fingers and um, wrap the knot through the fold twist a couple of times. Make sure it's nice and secure. And before you do your next fold twist, just give it a gentle squeeze the balloon. Bend that over. Uh, you can do it by eye or measure it. Make sure it's now a four finger fold twist. So there's two. Squeeze the air along again. And then wrap it over. And uh, that's a little bit big, make it a bit smaller. There you go. And uh, there. Hopefully it will be your um, three, four finger fold twists. You now need a four finger bubble for the center of the flower. And you need three two finger pinch twists. So you can do them singularly, but I prefer to do two, uh, two two finger bubbles. You twist these two together. So bring this down from here and twist it there. And then you take the balloon over the top of this section here. Um, I think it gives the, the pressure into the uh, pinch twist more evenly. So uh, there we go, twist that round. We now need another uh, two finger uh, pinch twist. So uh, this twist will now go into the two pinch twists that are already there. And just just let me go for it. Don't forget these are non popping balloons, so they'll be okay. <laughs> and then you need a, a four finger bubble back to the uh, fold twist and then one back again. So put your fingers there, measure it. And uh, this twist goes around the fold twist. And now you've got to, um, on your last one, which is a four finger there, you need to deflate the balloon in your favorite method. And I'm terrible. I use my teeth, but you shouldn't really. So make sure you've got a four finger bubble there. Tie this up. Tie the knot around the um, pinch twist and it should look a little bit like this. Now, in a while, we're going to push the fold twist up the forefinger bubble there. All right, I'll just show you over here, it might look a little bit clearer. So you're going to end up with that going, well, I might as well do them all just to show you. Normally, you, you attach the stem for it, so it's easier to. Uh, yeah. So it's going to end up looking like this, and you have that's all right. But you do that all after you attach the stem. All right. So here we go. Then you get your stem. You need a one finger bubble, and that twist goes around the fold twist of your um, flower. You then need another one finger bubble, and another one finger bubble. The second one finger bubble goes into a a, a pinch twist. So uh, hold it here, twist these two together, and then the knot of the balloon goes around the pinch twist. Uh, the reason for this is so that um, you have two bubbles here supporting the flower from the stem and it makes it more secure, so it makes it less wobbly, so it's a little bit more secure. All right, and uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll attach the, um, the, the fold twist and now go up the forefinger bubble here. So you just have to gently open this up and um, just slide that along there. Now I'll do this one this way. So you open this up here and then uh, oh, a bit tricky that way. Easy the other way. There you go. And then you get your last one. And gently slide it along. So that's what your flower looks like. And then at the back, I like to have three three finger fold twists. So squeeze it along a little bit, come back to the pinch twist. You can measure it if you like, or do it by eye. Again, before you do the next fold twist, give a gentle squeeze, just makes it a little bit softer. One more gentle squeeze. There we go. And uh, there are your three. Uh, Fold twist just gives a little bit more colour to the back of the flower, and then uh, you should have you'll end up with about a, a one finger uninflated. 
squeeze that to the end here, yeah. and then you've got to do an S twist. So you go like this for your petals or your flower, and then uh, twist that roughly in the centre. Now, if you leave it like this, the, um, the petals will untwist possibly. So take the end of the uh, stem, push it up through a petal, down through the other side, and then um, I like to just gently uh, squeeze the petals so that they, it gives them a little bit of shape. See, that one's got a little bit of shape there. Do the same with the other one. I also like to put a little bend in the um, stem here. So just give a, a gentle shock twist there. It just gives it a little, I can think a little bit of movement. And there is my favourite flower. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you could subscribe down the bottom there somewhere, that'd be great. And uh, we'll see you again on another uh, Bloom Tube. So bye for now. Cheerio.